have another another couple of garage tours here as I try to evaluate the fleet and try to figure out what we're going to do. Because we're going to have to get rid of some things. I don't really want to get rid of much. So here we are. This is my largely 4x4-esque kind of room here. There is an outlier. Because, again, once upon a time, I thought it would be a good idea to have a Duke of Death in every garage in case you needed an armored car in every garage. And that's an obsolete idea, I think, for the most part, especially since there's so many different ways you can call in vehicles. And, you know, all right, it, let's say there's somebody outside and they wanted to kill me and I had to get out. Would I jump in the Duke of Death and try and face him that way, or would I change sessions? Change sessions. That is what we would do. So, but it is a nice red. The red and gold, kind of a, a red, you know, colored over the red gold kind of. I like I like the car, so we'll probably keep that one. And plus, it was free, so I'm only getting back the you know a discounted cost of the mods. No, it's not a lot there. Here we have a Patriot. Oh, I think you're saying Patriots. That must be an easy thing to get rid of. Right, Patriots. You can find them all over the place, but. You'll notice this is not insured. Why not? Because nowadays, if you take a Patriot into a mod shop, you immediately lose the brush guard and you can't get it back. So, so this becomes kind of a rare vehicle, and not you know, not too many people can have it. You can't mod them. Now, this is my original Patriot. This is what, the Patriot was really one of the first cars that. I ever really wanted to mod up, and there's just something about it. I actually probably would. And here's a little secret tip for you. I, I actually would like to have like a tricked out Hummer just to cruise around in, but they're just so unreliable and so at this point in the game because they're older. And you know, I mean, it's just basically a Tahoe. Uh, I had a Trailblazer for a while that I liked a whole lot. I put went through two, two transmissions with it, so um, yeah, no. Uh, but this has the the old style lights, and if you take the old style, if you take this into a mod shop again, those will disappear. This can never be modded again. Now it is insured, um, but you know it's got also has these pipes. These pipes, those lights, they go away the instant you take uh, this guy into a mod shop. So he's an ultra rare kind of beastie here, and I don't even know how many people keep Patriots. Because, I mean, they're not, like, you know, a lionized item. So this is, like, my own little personal collection of Patriots here. Of, of rare kind of stock. This one has been to a mod shop. So it's a little less rare. I could probably do without this one. I think I kept this one because it did have... It did get the... It get, did get everything stripped. So it's a completely stripped down one. And I thought, well, gee, maybe someday they'll fix the bug and then they won't strip the pipes off and then you won't be able to get rid of them. So, therefore, this could be kind of a rare car at some point. Uh, just to make it a little bit more rare, I do have the uh, crew over chrome glitch paint job that you, you can only, it's, it's not supposed to be a paint color that you're supposed to be able to do, but it's got the crew wheels there. And again, I do, I do like them. And the last one, of course, is this is now one that has been tricked out as you can normally trick one out now with the, you know, the custom exhaust and the, the custom new of uh, you know footrest thing here, the step step ladder foot thing. What do you call it? I don't even know. It's late. I'm tired. You have to step on the side. You get the the custom desert storm paint job and the you know you got the you know the all terrain radials on the. Mill spec wheel. That's a classic Patriot kind of thing. No light bars. I didn't put, I could have put like the new style light bar on it, but it doesn't work. And there's nothing more annoying to me than like a broken light bar. So I just let that go. Now here, let's see, I'm trying to think, is this, is the, oh, is, he, is this the, um, let's get it. Okay, this is my Sand King, Sand King XL. I don't know if I could talk. Now, this is the Sand King XL I was using to get other Sand Kings. This is my hunter. This is my hunting Sand King XL. Because I used this for a little while to make money, it's kind of a sentimental favorite. And I do love, love the paint job on it. You just, just fall into the paint job on it. 
Uh, of course, when they updated the radial tire, the all-terrain radials, that style point changed a little bit. And it is massive. Where the heck, then, is, um, hmm. The other 4x4 that I have that looks like, what the hell was it? It was the one that, uh, was at the top of the SUVs class for the longest time. We'll get to that. That's another, another garage. I think that's the next garage down, so we'll get to that. Then we have the Lego car. I know, you're thinking it's a lemonade car, but, you know, with these red bricks and yellow bricks. This looked like such a piece of Lego to me that I just decided I had to color it like it came out of a Lego set. Menacer. It's not not a very menacing Menacer. And really, the Menacer, eh, it's not exactly a go-to car for me. You know what I'm saying? It does have what looks like a completely accurate Crows unit, or at least a very close Crows unit on the top, so that's kind of neat. So it's very Lego-y, so I have to keep it because it's sort of Lego-y. I could get rid of this one, but I don't want to, so I'm not going to. Look how Lego-y it is. It's Lego-y. It's so, so, not the gun, but the rest of it Lego-y. Now here we have another Mesa that I've obviously gotten out of some kind of, uh, a, a, you know, a battle with the Meriwether guys there. Now what I could do is I could use this one. I mean, I have two that are the, the same color even. I could obviously take one of these and I can uh, modify it up. I have a customed up, you know, beyond performance mods. We could put some custom wheels on it. Custom paint job. I, I have meant to do that. I think I keep forgetting that I have two of these. So at some point, that I mean, I'm not getting rid of it because it's too hard to get. But and of course we got you know the wonderful sport truck, the trophy truck. We got a trophy truck over here. We got the desert raid over here. Uh, I see. I think I put. The, I think I put the desert raid tires. I put them back to normal? No, I didn't. I left those as off roads. I always thought about changing, change, like these I, got, I left so that they would match. I thought about changing those back. This has had a few different paint jobs through its life, you know, lifespan here. Not getting rid of either of these. So we're looking at pretty much a garage that is static. This is, this is just gonna be, it is what it is. Now let's, uh, Let's try and go on to another one. So that was the first of my apartment garages. Here's another. And this one goes to probably my favorite apartment. Yeah, this is the Tinsel 42. I, I like the layout of the apartment the best. Well, let's check out the garage. Ah, here we are. This is the second of the Luigi's, the Contender. Now, the Contender was for the longest time, the, you know, at least not the longest time, but at least for a good amount of time, the fastest thing you could have for SUV races. I know, not an SUV, but it, that, that was the thing. Now it has been uh, surpassed. It's no longer a contender. See, it's, in the, it's an SUV. How is this an SUV? It's not an, it's a, it's a truck. I guess it has four doors. In it, so, all right. Done up in the Luigi livery, the blue and green. This is the, I'm going to eventually get some license plate to say Luigi and Mario for these. But there it is. It's the Luigi. That's, now, that's not a Duke of Death. That is just a tricked out regular Dukes. Oh, dear. Okay, so apparently they're having some continuity issues with the game servers. Probably because it's a double money and RP on on uh, bunker stuff and people are beating them to death so uh, there's that but here we have the luigi there we have the second luigi and i have another pair of marios over here this is the first mario okay it's me it's a mario this is such a little mario kind of car oh aren't they cute and you know what's especially cute about me but this cute little brioso it is that if you get into the brioso and you drive me around i spin like a crazy person it does. I can't keep the Briosos on the track. I've done videos about the Brioso. And, you know, I do realize that now there may be issues with it just in stunt tubes, which is the only place I ever drive it, so maybe I've just never been able to use the Brioso properly because I'm only using it in the one place it's glitched out. But, I mean, still, this is a Mario. 
Number one. This is a Mario number two. I'm trying to think. This is a chapter V12, right? Yeah, chapter V12. Fastest, uh... Well, it's not, it's not, the, that's not the fastest top speed. It's the fastest top speed for a sedan. Pretty quick with sports cars, but not uh, not as competitive as it used to be. But still, look at it. It's a Mario. Next, we have the General Grant. When I was a kid, I always thought, when I first initially thought about the Dukes of Hazzard, and I liked the Dukes of Hazzard, but I thought, well, I'm from Pennsylvania. I can't drive around in a... I want to drive around in an orange Dodge with a rebel flag on the roof, but I'm a Yankee. And so I thought, well, I have an American flag of a General Grant on. That would be blue instead of anything else. And, you know, that's, uh, that's, you know, after I watched the show a little bit, you know, longer, I, I got the impression that, you know, this really wasn't North-South. It was just the spirit of rebellion in general. I think we can all get down with that. And, of course, later on, man, I, I just don't understand the controversies that came out later on. I mean, I guess I do from a logical perspective perspective understand where some people could go with that but i think you have to be looking for the negativity you know but anyway this is the general grant this was my uh the, what i imagined a yankee version of the general lee would be kind of and of course i just put the uku symbol on the, the, the base symbol on the side. i have to get a, an official base symbol uploaded somewhere on the way i hate the fact that you have to pay for that but you know it's a eh, it's a thing here of course i have my bullet which is done in what, you know, would be called Ron colors here, but it's really golf colors as far as, you know, golf oil. And, again, I got the knockoff hubs. It's just so 60s. I really think that they did the bullet in service, though, making it as slow as they did. This is, this is, this should be a faster car. Rockstar Wii an update where you make the bullet, give the bullet a little love, and then, you know, hook up back some of the cylinders. Because, I mean, this thing, it should really fly. Now, this, ha, ha, ha. This is my uh, homage to Death Fred 2. This is the uh, the car that Bruffy took through Death Fred 2. If you watch that, he, he grabbed an orange, an orange buffalo just like this. And it was just, you know, it's an epic, epic video. I'll put a link to Death Fred 2 in this, if I remember to do that, which it's a 50-50-90, you know what I'm saying? 50-50 chance I'll do it, 90% chance I'll forget, but we're going to we're gonna try to. Uh, it, just search Death Fred 2 if I forget to do that, and you have to you have to watch it. It's really impressive. I was so impressed, I bought the car. I, like, stole the car, and then I like to, in my mind, pretend that, you know, it was Bruffy's. I think it got hit initially, so you never get to see the license plate, so we can pretend. We can pretend that it's, it's Bruffy's here. Another sentimental favorite. This, this Sentinel, this Sentinel Convertible, this is one of my earliest cars. This might be one of the first cars I ever grabbed. And you know what? As I recall, I think I was so new at the time, I thought since this was the most expensive coupe, it must be the best. And uh, not true. I was You can tell it's just black on black because I was like, I'm the Black Knight, we'll make all the cars black. And that got boring. So, but I, I keep this car. It's one of my original, original cars when I came to online. And it does drive nice. I do like the sound. Here we have a prairie. I believe it's a prairie. Is that what it is? Okay. Yeah, prairie. A Bullockin prairie. I forget why the Bullockin, why this one was special to me. It's just, I got one. I did it up in in uh, do yellow they do drive nice they're not fast they're not fast by any stretch of the imagination but they look cool i don't want to get rid of it i could get rid of it probably simply because you know there's some part of my head that says hey maybe someday you know bruffy 1322 will invite you to a prairie race because he likes the prairie and you'll have a prairie and i was like no it's not gonna happen and i keep forgetting to take that soda out of there okay the Blista, now this Blista is far more significant than the Prairie. This was my main racer for the longest time. When it came to, you know, running splits, I would always run this instead of that Brioso. And I would always completely devastate the field because everybody would be driving Briosos. If you don't have uh, a custom compact, you have to take the Brioso. And everybody would just spin out. And I would just drive away from it going, ha, 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 ha. 
And of course, it outweighs the Rio, so I believe luck, because people crash into me and then nothing would happen. And it was just great. So that's this garage. Since we're doing the apartments, let's do one more apartment, shall we? What? Um. Whoa. I am the cable. I'm one with the machine. What the heck happened here? Is there anything else that's gone completely haywire in this? I'm guessing the servers are not running well. Or my connection to the servers is not good. Something is amiss. Um, yeah, um, why can't I get out? There we go. It's a scary place. Here was, uh, okay, I think, I think we're going to have to do the last garage another day. I don't know what's happening. I've reloaded the game. This is... This is a thing. This looks like you drive right in there. And I know I can't pull the car. No, it's... No, we can't. Know it's, we know it's full. I think it's normal when we get inside. If we can get inside. Is this is this modders again messing with stuff? I, I don't know. There were, I was getting error messages about being connected to the Rockstar game servers before. This could be more of that. This I reload the game since then, so so at any rate, while we're just staring at a gate here, this was my original apartment. It was the Del Perro one. This is, uh, and around this apartment, I have built my empire. Uh, I, I got the maze bank across the street. I've got the very expensive cocaine lockup, which is just a, a, a block and a half hour or whatever it is, really nearby. Uh, the arcade is nearby. My nightclub is nearby. I am staring at this screen with you here, and nothing is happening. I am not encouraged. Let's do the time warp again. Encouraged here. This, uh... Um... Oh, hey, we actually did it. Look at that. We got into the... We could barely move, and look at everything just loaded. Ah, uh, this isn't good. <sighs> Alright, let's talk about the sentimental favorites here. This was my original supercar. Which I thought was the fastest, not the fastest, I think at the time I thought it was the second fastest car, but it really was the fastest car. But not because it has a 240 mile per hour top speed, because it's really in the, about half that, but because it handles so well. This is my XF, and I love my XF, and I would never part with it. I still like to drive this. I still feel like there are times when it can be competitive, even with the best, if you have just the right track, and XF. You can you can go places. Again, you can tell it's from an original, one of the original black all all black cars. I think it might have a slightly blue, you know, trans, you know, pearlescent going with it, just to make it look more black. Yeah, it's like blue over black, blue on black, tails on a river, push come to shove. Well, I don't mean much. Over here we have my elegy. Of course, Elegy, King Elegy for the longest time, one of the best cars to take out on a sports track. And I still love the way this, this, oh, you got yelling. Of course, my original Elegy, the Elegy, you know, it was a free car. So, hey, you got to get the free car, right? And it turns out, that although it's supposed to, it's supposed to be a tough car to drive. I've always liked the way it, it kind of handles. I'm used to it, I guess. This has had a number of different paint jobs and, and modification sets over the years, but this is my original Elegy. It's a fave. We're going to keep that one. 
Now this Phoenix, this was this I believe, and I could be wrong. I think this is the first car I ever grabbed off the street. This is my actual first car. Now it's again I have played with the paint job on this over the years. I'm probably gonna do another paint job on because I'm not sure that the 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 crew on chrome with the black stripe works for me. But this is another car. Never gonna get rid of it. It's my first car. This is the Tron liveried uh, custom saver turbo. I tried to make this kind of trying to come up with something to do with it. And you're trying to figure, hey, let's make it look like it's a Tron muscle car. But it is my main car for actual racing, usually for, for muscle. Although I tell you, I, I have mixed that up a lot. I've been using cliques. I've been using different things. You know, the, the Dominator. You know, when you, you're racing when you're racing stunt tracks like I normally do, the only time it really comes up that you're racing on, you know, a stunt track with a muscle car is either trench or or duel. 